Hello, today I am going to show you 10 important Excel settings that can make your work easier, faster and safer. Let's jump right in. Ever lost work because your computer crashed or the power went out? Autosave is here to help you with that. It automatically saves your file every few minutes, so you won't lose much if something goes wrong. Click on file in the top left corner, go to options at the bottom of the menu. In the new window, select save from the list on the left. Here you can adjust the time interval for autosave, set it to something like 3 or 5 minutes for extra safety. If your Excel files calculations are stuck and not updating correctly, check if the calculation mode is set to automatic. Go to the Formulas tab on the ribbon in the Calculation Options group, choose between Automatic Manual and Automatic except for data tables. If you choose Manual, remember to click Calculate Now or Calculate Sheet to update your formulas. This issue often occurs, especially when working with files created by others. If you can't see your scroll bars or sheet names, it can be hard to navigate your workbook. This setting helps you get them back, making it easier to move around the data. Click on File on the top left corner, go to Options at the bottom of the menu, choose Advanced from the list on the left. Scroll down to display options for this workbook and make sure show horizontal scroll bar, show vertical scroll bar and show sheet tabs are checked. This setting changes how Excel labels its cells. Instead of the usual letters and numbers A1, you can switch to numbers for both rows and columns. R1, C1. It's a different way to reference cells that some people find more logical. Click on File in the top left corner, go to Options at the bottom of the menu, select Formulas from the list on the left. Check or uncheck R1, C1 reference style, depending on your preference. Using table names in formulas makes them easier to read and manage, especially if you have a lot of data. Instead of saving B2, your formula can say sales amount, which is much clearer. Click on file on the top left corner, go to options at the bottom of the menu, select formulas from the list on the left, under working with formulas, check the box that says Use table names in formulas. The Quick Access Toolbar is a handy shortcut bar on the top of Excel, where you can add your favorite tools so they are always just one click away. Look for the small toolbar above the ribbon, usually showing Save, Undo and Redo buttons. Click the drop-down arrow at the end of the toolbar. Select more commands. Add any commands you often use, like new sheet or print, by selecting them from the list and clicking Add. Click OK to save your changes. You can also customize the top menu called Ribbon. You can hide tabs you don't use or create your own tabs with the commands you need most. Right click anywhere on the ribbon, choose Customize the ribbon to hide tabs and check the box next to them in the right column. To create a new tab, click New tab and then add commands from the left column. Click OK to save changes. The status bar at the bottom of Excel gives you quick information like the average or sum of selected cells. You can customize it to show exactly what you need. Right click on the status bar at the bottom of Excel window. Check or uncheck the options you want like average, count or sum. Your choices will update instantly on the status bar. The Developer tab is where you can access more advanced features like creating macros or custom functions. 
If you are getting serious with Excel, this tab is a must. Right click anywhere on the ribbon, the top menu area, choose customize the ribbon, in the right column check the box next to developer. Click OK and you'll see the developer tab appear on the ribbon. Add-ins are extra tools you can add to Excel to do even more, like data analysis or special formatting. They can really boost your productivity. Click on File in the top left corner, go to Options at the bottom of the menu, select Add-ins from the list on the left. Click Go next to Manage Excel Add-ins at the bottom of the window. Check the add-ins you want to use, then click OK. These 10 settings can really make a difference in how you use Excel. Thank you for watching. See ya!